Hey guys, welcome back. It's finally here. Brilliant stars. Gonna open a Elite Trainer box with you today. If you haven't already, please drop a subscribe down below. You won't regret it. And we'll get right on with opening this ETB and hopefully them pulls. Come on, let's go. Right, well done away with the wrapping there. And maybe it was just me, but the uh the wrapping on that actually felt a lot thicker than normal. But might just be me, not opened an ETB in a while. So let's see what we've got in here. Put the uh, sleeve to one side. So we got the usual player's guide book that we get with every uh, set, every trainer box, everything that's in there, and a way to keep track of what you've got. Now, of course, this set is um, basically Starbirth. Starbirth uh, came out in Japanese, and if you uh, watch my videos, you'll know I didn't get my two chase cards, the big two in the set, so I'll be hoping for them. In this, if you haven't seen them, please go and check them out. I do have some uh, giveaways running on there as well. Just get all the rubbish out of here. So, of course, got the uh, trading card game rules there. Can you get them in all of them if you're not familiar? Got the new uh, type of code card. Now, I uh, actually skipped Fusion Strike completely, so I'm new to these code cards and I forget. Um, what the colour scheme mean for hit or not. Got the sleeves, the nice Arceus sleeves. Got of course the uh, energy cards which are different for Brilliant Stars. They got this cool new background on. Pretty funky actually. We've got the uh, dividers. Very nice. I do like that side actually. That's cool. Cool. Got the V-Star marker. I've got three of those now. We've got the dice. So I just caught the camera there. We've got the uh, counters as well. And then we've got our eight packs. So I'll just sort all this stuff out, guys, and we'll open these packs up. All right, let's go, shall we, and see what we get. Of course, my two chase cards are the Arceus and Charizard alts. Um, but let's, let's see how we go. Of course, a lot of the cards in this set I do have... Um, in Japanese but it is a bit different it's not just a, a like for like with Starbirth there's the trainer gallery as well right now I am going with that with the white coats uh hits uh feel free to correct me but I mean we'll see as we go anyway um I am going to give some of these away guys as well so there you go start with the first one I haven't played the bait yet if anyone has for the uh, new Online game, please uh, drop me a line. Let me know if it's any good or not. Well, it feels a while since I've actually opened English cards, you know. Do miss it a little bit. All right. So, of course, we've got the energy there. We've got the fighting energy to start off with. We've got a Starmie. I do like Starmie. Underrated, in my opinion. And I like that artwork as well. That's uh, not in Starbirth. Got Cynthia's Ambition Trainer and Sharon's Care as well. Got a Shroomish, little Piplup, a Turtwig, Sneasel, got Clink, got a Reverse Hollow Bidoof. And what's going to be behind it? We're going to have some first pack magic. We've got a Wormadam. So, no, no, we're not. So, Reverse Hollow Bidoof, uh, best follow that first pack. Straight on to the second one then. Got two of this uh, pack artwork. Got a lot of shamings. We've got four shaming um, pack artworks. I know we distributed a bit better than that. Oh. Finally got into this pack. Uh, that's one thing I miss about the Japanese packs. They are so, so much easier to open than the English ones. So I'm guessing white isn't a hit. Or is there even a colour code uh, color thing? Is, is black it? Um, and white's a normal? I don't know. Interested to find out, like I say, I feel like I've been out of the English game for too long. Hopefully Brilliant Stars won't be too bad quality wise. I mean, the uh, print lines on the V Stars in Starbirth were atrocious and I have seen it's carried over, unfortunately, somewhat. What we got? We got the Water Ranger there. Got another Starmie. Got Weevil. A Dusclops. Sork. Got a Corfish. Gullet. A Chimecho. Chimcha, oh, nearly took the world with it, but what's behind it? What's behind it? 
Nice. Got the Urshfu VMAX, the gold one. Uh, single strike, rapid strikes in this set as well. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much as, as good as it gets. Um, yeah, there's five Charizards in the set, rainbow and everything, but bang on. Let's have a look at that. Go TG29 or TG30. Let's have a quick look for those dreaded print lines. Pretty much in the same place on every card. So you get one sort of a third of the way down, halfway, and then down here. And it is looking pretty good. Wow, the black on that is just very, it's very dark. It's almost like matte black. Wow. And not half bad for a second pack, if I do say so myself. Lovely. Some of the ones that were in Starbirth, um, like the Pikachu, not a fan, but I do, I do actually like this one. It's probably the only one I like out of them. So I've, uh, I've got away with that one. I think very happy. We got a Lipard behind it. Ah, just going to get this one sleeved up straight away. And just before I do pop this in a sleeve as I finally dug them out. Um, this one talk about, about quality. You see that there on the top. It's not too bad. Like, you know, if you look at it straight on can't really tell but yeah there's like a it's like a dink um in there hey there's just been quite a few issues recently and i know we're kind of used to them in english but they've been affecting japanese too which is odd um it's something they can they can kind of improve upon a little bit um it's not been fantastic lately and the last thing you want is to get your favourite card from the set, pull your absolute favourite, and it's got print lines or damage on it. No one wants that. So we've had uh, three white codes now, and one was not a hit, and one definitely was. So, see how it actually works out, I guess. Uh, four to the front. We got the fire energy what do you think about the new energy guys let me know let me know starmie third pack in a row we started on a starmie it's a bit weird got cynthia's ambition there and cheren's care again got a ball toy snorant a nose pass milsery a cup Jew, reverse hollow burmy and a star raptor oh back to normal for that one so let's get into these uh, gaming artwork packs. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Quite like it. Okay, there's your code. Yeah. Is that the V star marker? And does that count? So if you got three, four, five, six, ten. So what, do we still do four to the front? I'm guessing not. I'm going to do three, see how this goes. Let's pop them down for a second. Yes, yeah, so this is the V-star marker. Supposedly, it was supposed to signify a V-star hit, but I think that has been proven to be a load of rubbish. Um, not 100%, but yeah. It's kind of weird, got to be honest. It's kind of weird opening a pack and having that. It's probably supposed to do four to the front there, yeah, but don't know how it works. They're changing things, no one likes change. We've got a Luxio, got a Hitmon on top, got a Magma Basin, a Spiritomb, Burmy, an Impidimp, Dayu, a Riolu. Eevee, our first trainer gallery card. Nice, nice. What isn't nice, and I don't want to sound like an absolute douche here and just go on about, uh, oh, grading and all that, but what is that centering? I mean, what is that all about? That's just hilarious. The tiniest border ever. It's over to the right as well, a smidge, and then you've just got a massive border down at the bottom. But, take that away. It's very nice. I like this uh, hollow effect. Very colourful, that's cool. That works nice. One thing I'm not keen on on the trainer gallery compared to um the Japanese ones is the yellow border on a card. 
I much prefer the grey silver border than the yellow one. I think it looks a lot better. But yeah, I'm happy with that, apart from, say, this absolutely horrendous border up top. What's behind it? Uh, Haxorus. Nice. Just going to get that Eevee sleeved. Right, oh, guys, so we are halfway through. I'm going to pop that code card over there. I do want a few of them to try out the new game when it finally drops. Before there? I think so. Struggling to count today. It's been a long day. Yeah, so we've got the energy card there. Got a floatzel. A vibrava. A choice belt. A da den. A cup chew. Duskull. A far fetched. Execute. Reverse hollow throw. And what's going to be behind it? Mewtwo. Nice. Now, I would like Mewtwo to be at least a hollow in this set. Um, but everyone loves a Mewtwo, right? I like it. It's a bit different, that one. I like it. Well, we haven't had a V-Star yet, have we, guys? What we've had? One from the trainer gallery. Well, two, technically, because the single strike Urshifu. Uh, the gold one we got, is actually technically a part of the training gallery. So, oh, made a right hash of opening this one up. Pop that to one side. Go to the front. And we've got this psychic energy. Got a double turn of energy there and a proper pass. Got a Primplup, Baltoy, a little snowing out in the cold. Got a Nose Pass, Deden, a Cup Chew, Reverse Hollow Chimchar. I like this artwork with all these uh, berries. And a Cliff Fable. Hmm, okay. Right, we're down to our last two guys. So, it's the Arceus pack next. And what lovely pack art as well, I have to say. Oh, and it's our first black Toad card. So, I'm guessing it is supposed to signify a hit then. Um, even though there wasn't one with that, you know, single shite ish food. So, God knows how it works. Um, someone, please, please tell me. I mean, are they not classed as hits? Because the trainer galleries, technically? I don't know. It's, it's, all, it's all very strange. Okay, so we've got the energy card. I'm hoping something really cool out of this one now. Got a Monferno and a Gloria. Got a Dusclops. Oh, and a Carfish behind, taking the world with me. Got a Gullet. A Chimetro. Chimcha. A Mincino. Reverse Hollow Magma Basin. And what's it going to be? A Hollow Torterra. Wow. <laughs> Slightly. Anticlimactic. Gotta be said, hasn't it? Right, so we're on to our last, our last pack for this Charizard um, pack art. Very nice indeed. Can we get something here? I mean, I know second pack we pulled that uh, Urshifu, but I suppose I'll be disappointed until I get my Charizard V Venusaur. Oh, it's another black one. So if these are supposed to be hits, then like I say, that's two out of eight, which would suck pretty hard. But and I've also had two trainer gallery cards. So hmm. I know they're in a different slot, but you'd think you get a black one in there as well. Because that's a hit, right? We're all counting the trainer gallery as a as a as a successful pack in this in this set. We should be doing. Anyway, we got the energy there, of course. We got a Monferno and Gloria. Dusclops and a boozle behind. Then we got a little gibbler. A trap inch. This is cool. I like this. Got cast form. Throw. Reverse hollow wormadon. And last card of the video. It's a Drampa V. Nice. Don't have this. It's not in Starbirth.
From what I can see, it does not have the dreaded print line. Sweet. Not too shabby. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It's nice to be back to doing English cards. Feels like a, a weird sort of change. We're the worst box in the world. I mean, that gold Urshifu, pretty much straight off the bat. Quality pull. Very happy with that. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe down below. And I'll be back with more uh, Brilliant Stars very soon. Thanks very much for watching.